Cool, thanks. Um, hi, I'm Mike. I'm the co-founder of Goldfinch. We're building a decentralized credit protocol. And the whole concept here is to make it possible to do loans without crypto collateral. So where a lot of, uh, where the prior protocols like, like Compound and Aave, you have to put up say $150 worth of ETH to borrow $100 of USDC. The idea behind Goldfinch is to build this bridge between real borrowers out in the world who don't already have all of this crypto. So how can we make it possible for them to borrow capital when they don't already have capital to start with? So we can dive right in. I'll share. This here uh, is basically the homepage uh, when you go to look at all of the pools. And the way Goldfinch works is you supply capital into pools. So what we're seeing here is that I have supplied $100 into the protocol. And you see uh, two types of sections. One here is the senior pool, and one here is the borrower pool. The borrower pools are all of the individual borrowers who are actually using Goldfinch today. So Almavest is a credit fund. They have raised a number of different pools where they're lending capital out to great businesses around the world. Uh, here's another example of Aspire, their company in Southeast Asia that is providing working capital loans to small businesses in throughout Southeast Asia. And then you have, for another example, uh, QuickCheck. They're in Nigeria and they're doing consumer loans. So to dive right in, uh, if I were to click on a particular borrower pool, here's an example of the AlmaVest basket here. They have now, you can see they've borrowed uh, just shy of $10 million. And this is kind of like the, the provides all the information about an individual borrower. And so you can see the, the total amount of capital that has been supplied, information about that borrower. They are uh, paying a coupon rate of 12.5%. And here is important to share the, the crux of how the protocol works, which is there are backers and then there are liquidity providers. These are like two different kinds of participants. And what happens is the backers are the folks who are assessing all of the individual borrower pools to decide whether to provide capital. When they provide capital, they're providing it into the junior tranche of the pool, which is first loss capital. That is what uh, sort of uh, goes first when they're in the case of a default. And then based upon how many backers are in there, there is a senior pool that provides additional capital. So what this is showing is 141 backers have provided $2.5 million into this pool. And then they are receiving essentially 3X leverage from the senior pool. Senior pool has provided $7.5 million. And what makes all of the incentives work is that the senior pool is paying 20% of the interest it receives, basically is reallocated over to the backers. So that gives backers an outsized uh, yield and gives them the incentives to both do the work of evaluating these pools and providing the first loss capital. We, we see some of the numbers here where they are receiving their base rate of 12.5%, but then there is a, an additional APR boost, which is coming from that reallocated capital of 6.25%. So the backers are receiving effectively an 18.75% yield, which is a high yield for this. Um, but I think it's good just to, oh, and then you can also see as well that they, they received the capital. It shows all of the payments happening on chain. So they did the drawdown in two separate amounts. And then they made their first interest payment about a week ago on January 6th. And these all link out to the Etherscan links. Um, but to show sort of how it actually works using the protocol, this pool right here, all the pools are closed right now, but you can still participate in the senior pool. So from the homepage, if I click into the senior pool, right now there's $62.8 million in there. And this is what it shows you on, on that page. And so the, the idea behind the senior pool is it is automatically allocating capital to all of the different borrower pools based upon how many backers are in those pools. And so you can kind of provide capital into the senior pool. Right now, it's only open to non-US folks and uh, it will be basically be automatically allocated. So let's say uh, I'm looking at this pool, I can see there's 62.8 million. Here's the total amount of loans that are outstanding. Um, I have supplied $102 to it. And then this is showing recent repayments coming in from borrowers. So from these few recent payments, I've received my sort of proportional portion of these, these amounts. If I wanted to supply more capital, um, I would hit supply and I would uh, type in whether or not I want to stake. And I would type in that I agree to the agreement and put in my amount. And then I would hit submit. Uh, I'm not gonna do it because it's on chain. 
um, and you know it, it's expensive, but uh, I think it's also important to note that the APY is including both the underlying interest rate from the loans as well as the rewards coming in from the GFI or distributions there, uh, which we actually just launched last week. So if I were to hover over the uh, estimated growth here, it shows that the, the base rate coming in here is 6% 6, 6 plus 117, 118% APY right now from the distribution of the token. If I want to withdraw, I, I hit withdraw and then uh, type in the amount and then that will do, do, do the withdraw amount. So there's basically, I guess, only two buttons to really using Goldfinch up front is supplying capital and withdrawing capital on uh, the backer pools. It shows, I mean, on the borrower pools, it shows the, the same thing. And then I think it's also worth showing from the perspective of a borrower, how this works. So this is, uh, this is what it looks like if you're a borrower for most folks, who are using it? Uh, there's only uh, you know you know a few dozen borrowers right now, but um, this is how it would appear. You can see essentially the total amount right now. I have uh, drawn down the majority of what I'm able to draw down. So I only have like two cents that I can draw down out of the total, say $102. Um, but if I wanted to, I would hit draw down and be able to type in that amount. Um, but importantly, if I want to pay back the amount I owe $2.47 right now, I would hit pay. And then it allows me to choose the amount that I want to pay. So I can pay the exact amount that I owe right now, or I can pay the full balance or some other custom amount. And when I do that, that will show back up as the actual on-chain transactions and be immediately kind of distributed to all of the folks who supplied capital. So that is a very quick run through. I think it's also helpful to show um, the way that the, the GFI works. So when you are participating, there are different ways to receive GFI. Uh, and this page kind of shows all of the, the GFI allocations that you've received. Uh, an important part is the way the GFI distributions work for liquidity mining. So that's sort of what we have right here, which is when you're providing to the senior pool, you are both receiving the interest plus receiving ongoing tokens that are being distributed to all suppliers in the senior pool. And these tokens unlock over the period of 12 months, which is to encourage folks to contribute for a full 12 months. So I literally staked uh, the, the amount that I supplied uh, yesterday. So I'm 0.15% of the way through the year. Um, but this, this is showing how much GFI I'm earning per week. And then the unlock status is how much um, of that amount I have kind of unlocked and can claim uh, whenever I want. So I did a really quick overview here of all of the uh, different components of the protocol, but that's, that's basically it. Uh, supplying into the senior pool and into the borrower pools, and then how you borrow uh, if you're a borrower.